four years of work and I have graduated with 66.5 which is a 2-1 and a diploma in international studies for the year abroad that I did in Madrid so my international business degree is done with a 2-1 Come on! Whoop, whoop. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Connor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog following my attempt at becoming a professional goalkeeper. We've come to the final episode of series two of Keeping Goals. Coincidentally, this week, I also had my graduation for my degree at Loughborough University. All finished, all done, four years, bosh. Two one degree from Loughborough University and a very proud day for myself, for my family, for my friends, to share it with all of them was incredible. So Thursday just gone, travelled back down to Loughborough for my graduation. We're back. Hello. We're back in Loughborough, ready for the graduation tomorrow morning. But now we're going to go and see Johnny in his and new Nicole. house with Nicole. And I've heard a rumour that Joe's there as well. <gasps> Is she? Yeah. So we're going to go and say hi to all our friends. Ooh, uni friends. <laughs> friends. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Of course he is. Of course he is. How are you doing? Oh, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. All the graduations are split up across the week, so some of my housemates were graduating earlier in the week, some of them later. But me and Joe, as part of the business school, had our graduation on the Thursday. The next day. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you, mate. Well done. Well done. It was a lovely day. I shared it with my family, with my friends, with my girlfriend. It was a chance to reflect on the time that I'd had at Loughborough University, what I'd learned and to think about who I was when I came and who I am now that I'm leaving. When I arrived, I was 19 years old. I still wanted to be a professional footballer, as I do now, but I wanted to be part of the environment at Loughborough, the elite environment where I could study, where I could train, where I could improve myself in all different areas of my life. And that's something that I've definitely achieved. Car okay. We accepted our degrees from Lord Seb Coe, who is Chancellor of Loughborough University and four-time Olympic medalist. We listened to him talk about how we should have the confidence to approach our dreams in life now that we are Loughborough graduates. And confidence is something that Loughborough definitely gives you. It's the best sporting university in the world. You are surrounded by elite athletes, elite students, elite teachers, people who are at the very top of their game and it drags you up with them. In your training, in your studying, in your life, 
Loughborough teaches you to give it everything and to be the best that you can be. And having graduated from Loughborough, having made my mark as part of the football team, as a student, and now as a graduate, it gives me the confidence in my next stages of life to attack my dreams that I still want to achieve. One of which is to become a professional goalkeeper, which is why we have the Keeping Goals vlog and why you guys are following us. But I'm very, very proud of my time at Loughborough. I've spoken to you guys before about what it's like to be a student athlete at Loughborough and I'm very proud of what I've achieved there. It's a long journey, it had a lot of ups and downs, but at the end of the day, I made incredible memories with even better people. So I'm extremely grateful for all the time that I had at Loughborough, for all the people I met, for all the memories I've made, but I'm excited to move on to the next chapter. The next day. Jonathan Wong. <laughs> Said Abdul Nasir. Ryan Adams. How do you feel, graduate? Soggy. <laughs> Give us I a feel twirl. like I'm in line at Disney World. <laughs> 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 Graduated Mickey Mouse's school. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> Later that same evening. But enough about graduation, keeping goals. This is the final episode of series two of Keeping Goals. Crazy to think where we started and where we are now from 438 of you at the beginning of series two to 13,000 now. Thank you so much to each and every single one of you for your attention, for your time, for the support, for the messages, for subscribing, for sharing, for liking videos. It means the world to us, so thank you so much for that. And I hope that we've given you something in return and given you a story that you can follow. The aim of series two was to show you what life is like at Loughborough University for a student athlete. At the best sporting university in the world, what it's like to combine studying for a degree alongside elite level training, elite level matches, trying to become the best athlete and student at the same time as you can possibly be. As it was my final season, as I was one of the senior players in that squad, I had responsibilities and I felt those responsibilities to help the young lads coming through, to adapt to that unusual environment of Loughborough, but also to show people what I could do, to show you guys what I could do, to make my reputation back in England and showing people that I could play at the highest level possible. I had my 100th game for Loughborough University. I had trials in England, I had trials abroad in Sweden. All these opportunities that came during Series 2. All these great moments of success and happy memories that we had. But those successful moments were balanced out with difficult moments. We had a poor run of form where we lost lots of games. I gained a shoulder injury which kept me out for months and meant that I missed important knockout games. We lost in the final of the County Cup which was one of the most difficult moments of the year for me and something that was really difficult to take at that point. But all those difficult moments, they gave me something. They gave me the opportunity to learn, the opportunity to improve. Each mistake that I made, each tough time, it taught me something about myself if I was ready to listen. Throughout Series 2, we also tried to help you by showing different sides of goalkeeping. All these different areas of goalkeeping which people don't always think about and things which I think aren't shown on the internet. Information that isn't really available for keepers. We tried to bring that to you, to bring you some value, to help you up your own game. And finally, we had laughs, we had good times with the Keeping Goals family. We had the ultimate goalkeeper challenge where I put my housemates through some goalkeeper exercises with some 
hilarious outcomes. We had me versus Johnny taking part in a kicking competition. We had giveaways for you guys over on the channel. All these things that took place during series two, which looking back has been incredible to be a part of and to share with you guys. It's been a journey that we've gone through together, not knowing where it was gonna take us, but seizing every opportunity, chasing improvement, and enjoying every single step along the way. But now it's time to take a break. It's time to breathe, relax, and prepare for series three of Keeping Goals. Series three will be bigger, it'll be better, it'll bring a new club, a new league, perhaps even a new country. But it will continue to follow my attempt at becoming a professional goalkeeper wherever that takes us. But we'll get there, and it means the world to me that you're coming along for the journey with me. So that's it. From Johnny and from myself, thank you so much to each and every single one of you for your love, for your support throughout Series 2. For this video, like I always say, please like, please share, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Enjoy your summers, have a great time with your family and with your loved ones, keep chasing improvement, but we will be back very, very soon for Series 3 of Keeping Goals. But for now, that's it. I'll speak to you in a bit. Welcome to a new series of Keeping Goals. <laughs> Cut that. 